Hi there guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Lay Morningstar and today we're going to talk about Filipinos are black. Yes, you heard it right. We are black. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I keep on receiving questions like why do you support Black Lives Matter? And this is the big reason why. Don't worry guys, I'll be supporting this with history such as have you ever heard of Asiatic black people? If you find this topic interesting, keep watching. Okay guys, so before you violently react with my statement that Filipinos are black, please hear me out first. And one of the reasons why I said it is that because we have our indigenous people here in the Philippines that we call Negritos and this is how they look like. These are the indigenous people of the Philippines. They are the Negritos, but most of the time we call them Aitas. The Negritos term was applied during 16th century by Spanish sailors because they said that they look like people from Africa but the shorter version because their typical height back then was around 5 feet 5 inches for men and 4 feet 8 inches for women and this term is still used mostly in Southeast Asia and Asian Pacific Island of Papua New Guinea so of course this is not the only photo I'm going to show you to prove my point but just based on this first photo, you can definitely say that not all Asians look like Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan. Some of us resembles Hart, Kevin Hart. <laughs> Another proof that Southeast Asian people are black. This is one of the famous literatures in China during Tang Dynasty. This is entitled Kunlun Slave. The term Kunlun is equivalent to Negritos, and this is all about martial arts, romance, and black slavery. And based on the story, the black people are from Southeast Asia and Africa. Next, Orang Asli of Malaysia, meaning first people. The government officially recognized them as the region's earliest inhabitants, but prior to this, they were also called Semang, which means dead slave. It is because way back then, they were also abducted from their homelands and sold in slavery. There's a lot of studies and archaeological findings that proves Negritos or nomadic hunter-gatherers once live across Asia, from India to southern region of Japan, as well as southern continent of Australia and neighboring island of Tasmania was once their domain. I'll be talking forever if I'll show you all the evidences of Asiatic black people, but this is an example of how they look like. And genetically speaking, there is a genetic population group that is called Haplogroup M. They belong to um, the same ancestors and they are believed to be the first humans that migrated out of East Africa from around 60,000 or 80,000 years ago. Haplogroup M is found almost exclusively in Asia. So these are the reasons why I do support Black Lives Matter other than I have relatives that are black. I have a cousin who is married to a black guy with beautiful Blasian kids. I have a partner who is also a black man. So um, I know you guys would say, well, all, all lives matter. Yeah, of course, all lives matter. But if there is a specific race that receives bad treatment and have to fear for their own lives every blessed day, why don't we speak out and help them, support them? Coming from a Filipino who were once a slave in their own country, we should understand that. So these are my thoughts and it's all up to you if you will accept it or not, but I will embrace it. And honestly speaking, I think almost all of us are mixed race, so there shouldn't be any space in our heart for hatred. So if you have any thoughts about this topic, please don't hesitate to leave your message on the comment section, as well as if you have any topic that you want to talk about, please leave a message and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Like this um, video and share, and if it's not too much for you, please subscribe so that you could get notified with my new videos. See ya! Heart heart! <laughs>